So Jen, it's been about a year since we stood up testing for COVID-19 on campus. How did we go about setting up testing? You know, we're really grateful that we had partnerships with Test Nebraska and with the Nebraska Public Health Lab, yet we started to recognize that we were going to need to offer significantly higher volume of tests that would be less invasive and um, where we could have really quick turnaround of results. And it became clear to us in those moments that we were going to need to stand up our own COVID testing program in order to best protect our campus community. And now fast forward a year, we've done 270,000 tests. That is huge thanks to so many pieces coming together. We constructed COVID testing pod buildings all around the campus. We consulted on legal and regulatory aspects. We assembled hundreds of thousands of test collection kits. We stood up technology to schedule and deliver results electronically. We launched our COVID testing lab at the Vet Diagnostic Center. It's been a true testament to the hardworking, can-do Nebraska spirit. So Duan, how's it work from the time that a student or a staff or a faculty member comes in and provides you know, the test sample? Saliva sample collected from collection site throughout the university and barcode for identification. A courier brings those samples to Nebraska Veterinary Diagnostic Center. We process sample for real-time polymerase chain reactions or real-time PCR. This process takes about 80 minutes. When we finalize the test, the result will show in safer community apps within a minute. So Jen, how would you explain why our testing service and our testing protocol has been so important? This has helped us to have a data-oriented approach to making campus-wide decisions for the, the best safety and protection of our campus community and the broader Lincoln community. So hats off to all of our testing team and everyone that's contributed to being able to provide this safety mechanism for UNL and for all of the greater community that we're in.